guys, why haven't you checked out my new project here? Reminding you guys that you should totally check out my website. You got merch, you got blog posts, and then more importantly, you got my brand new project, Vogue. You should totally check it out. It's a very, very good way of doing a certain little thing on a spectator that makes them think that they have a free choice, but they don't. They never have free choice. It's up to you 100% of the time. So you should totally check it out. Rave reviews all around, just saying, and you're helping out old Piggy here maintain this this lovely backdrop. Look at this, look at this backdrop. You're telling me that you don't want to keep seeing this backdrop? Just look at that, look, look at this background. Don't tell me that you don't, you don't like this background. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys a card trick today. It's a card at any number. People tend to typically like these sort of effects. I'm gonna show you guys a super easy way of doing it that will make you, um, make you cool. This will make you cool. So we're gonna be using this Hoyle deck of playing cards, this uh, Hoyle deck to do this card trick and make sure that uh, you use a deck that's also appropriately titled uh, such as Hoyle. Uh, so let's, let's just jump, let's just jump right into this. So the spectator gets their dirty hands on any card uh, they want. In this case, let's say they pick the, uh, the five of clubs. Let's say this is the card the spectator picks for this particular experiment. Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what happens with this card in particular. Um, it's lost somewhere in the middle of the deck, unbeknownst to uh, me, the uh, magician. I just give the deck a couple little one of these cuts, I think I noticed the card face up here, but that doesn't matter. Uh, so what we'll do is that we have the spectator name any number between one and 10. We'll, we'll have them name any number between one and 10. Uh, so let's say the spectator says seven. We go, sir, what I want you to do is I want you to deal the cards face down at the table, just like this. Could, could you do that? Could you, could you, are you capable of that? Are you someone who's capable of that action? And of course the spectator is gonna say, yeah, yes, yes I am. So you hand him the deck, you say, I don't wanna touch anything and they deal down seven cards. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They could have named any number. They could have named eight and it would have been the uh, nine of diamonds. They could have named six and it would have been one of those cards. But of course they named seven, which happens to be the exact card that the spectator has picked. Oh yeah, that card disappears and then it comes, oh. Uh, but that's the, that's the, that's the trick. I'm Todd LaRue. You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. I feel like a deer in the headlights of love. So you wanna know how it's done. You always wanna know how it's done. You guys are never satisfied with just a little bit of a performance. You always wanna know how it's done. You want a tutorial, soon enough what? You're gonna start asking for puzzle videos? You guys wanna know how to, how to do putt? No, that's not, uh, so I'll show you guys how it's done. You need a joker, and uh, that's about it. You need a joker and a deck of cards and you're good to go. You have a nice little can routine using a force that is uh, often overlooked. This is one of those forces from uh, this old book, Animan's uh, card forcing techniques. And this is one of those. I forgot the number. I'm sure I'll put it here in post somewhere um, in a, with a cow ding noise. But uh, this is a very easy force because it's the opposite of another well-known force known as the countdown force. Usually you might see this force done as a, you have the spectator name any number between one and 10. Let's say they say five and you deal cards onto the table and you go, what I want you to do in a moment is deal five cards onto the table just like this. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, are you capable of doing that, sir? Okay, great. And of course, in that action, you've reversed the top five cards, and then now their card is the fifth one, assuming that their card was originally the top card. That's the original force. It's a countdown force. I personally love the force. However, it does have one downside in that you have to physically count to the actual number that the spectator names, which is a little bit condescending, to be honest. So this force kind of eliminates the notion, and it's the reverse of that force. Without further ado, let's get into this one. Uh, you need a joker, and what you do is that you're gonna combine the actions of the oops control that I taught up here, or up here, or uh, somewhere there. Uh, you're gonna do that, and if you haven't seen it, you need to check out that video. It's my favorite card control. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the joker, turn it face down, and add eight cards on top of it. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's eight cards on top of it, making it the ninth card. You're so smart. Oh man. So now this situation gets placed in the bottom of the deck. You turn the deck over and now you're ready to perform. You are ready. So you have the spectator touch any card they want. Let's say they touch this one in particular. It's the two of diamonds. 
this card is gonna get lost in the middle of the deck. Really all I'm doing is I'm cutting that card somewhere in the middle of the deck. Of course I'm doing this because the spectator doesn't happen to be here. So I'm restricted to doing a one-handed cut. Shouldn't do that. Shows off too much uh, too much of that skillsies in this particular effect. You wanna be a little bit more hands off. So just uh, cut the deck. Just one of these, one of those. Hey sir, put it back and you'll be fine. Uh, so they pick a card here. You clean the uh, spits from the card and uh, it goes somewhere in the middle of the deck. Remember, the bottom half is going on top of this card. What does that mean? But remember, we have the Joker face up in the middle of the deck, so we could do whatever little false cuts we want, but at any point in time, we could spread the deck and notice that the Joker is face up. And wow, this is a mistake. I can't believe the Joker's face up. Guess what? You did it on purpose, because now, when you turn this Joker face down, you could actually score the deck up and obtain a pinky break right there above the joker that that's that's what that face up joker allows you to do and now guess what you could shuffle the deck just like this you see that you could shuffle the deck just like this shuffling all those cards to the bottom of the deck doing the mahatma control or whatever control you want and their card is going to be 10th from the top of the deck so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten right there the two of diamonds in the flesh ready to be uh veganized ready to be veganized uh the, the, so all you have to do here is have them name any number between one and ten whatever number they name subtract ten from that number and that's how many cards you're going to deal down to show them you, you, simple right S simple that's that's pretty much what you're doing here if they name a number that's less than i would say four i would say no 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 high higher uh so that to make it a little bit harder because imagine if they name three you're dealing seven cards onto the table to show them. If they name four, you're dealing six cards. Eh, you want them to name a number that's five and above just for this particular method, but it still works, it still works, so don't dismiss it. So let's say they name the number six, you go, okay, that's great. Of course, 10 minus six is what? You're so good, it's four. It's, man, you guys are so smart. You guys should subscribe to my second channel, by the way. I have a second channel, check it out. Uh, it links in the description below or up here. I think you could just click on there and subscribe to that channel. New content, uh, mostly every day. It's, it's a fun channel. So remember, because they named six, you're gonna have to deal four cards to the table because 10 minus six is, is four, is four. Yeah, that's the simple math you're doing. I think even you guys are, are capable of that. So you're gonna deal four cards onto the table in exposition here and say, well, in a moment, what I want you to do is deal uh, to your number, just face down in the table, just like this. Uh, could, you, could you do that? And of course, eliminating those cards. If you want, you could deal them on the table and put the deck on top of it, say, I don't wanna to touch it, or uh, deal it on the floor. Deal it on the floor like I am, uh, because they're playing cards. They, they, they don't matter that much. So you hand the deck to the spectator, making sure to tell them, I don't wanna to touch anything. That's an important line. They're gonna remember it later on and be like, oh, but he didn't touch anything. Yeah, you did. You're a dirty liar. Uh, and now they could deal the cards. So they deal them. This. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, the sixth card is their card, the two of diamonds, thus concluding this easy, super easy card at any number can style routine. How's that for SEOs? Uh, but this is a uh, really simple and it's using one of these uh, classic little forces that people tend to forget because they're in old books and people just want to buy new, 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 new stuff. And, uh, you know, you should really look in old books and uh, you might get a nugget of an idea somewhere. So make sure to uh, check out the project, guys. It's a, it's a fun project. It's definitely uh, something that's that's useful for 100 percent of you. Uh, it's useful for 100 percent of you. Check out the website, too. It's kind of heat. It's kind of one of those heat websites that uh, people wonder and they go to and they're like, wow, this this is really some some professional stuff, man. Would you have some somebody make this for you? And I go, no, no, I just use uh, Squarespace, which is not a sponsor. Ha, ah, oh boy. And then the new, uh, the new channel, the new channel. You guys should totally check that out. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, is that enough for shilling? I think that's enough. I'm gonna go figure out different ways uh, to use a three-way close-up pad with uh, mirrors inside of it. I'm gonna figure out how to use that as a way of raising my uh, libido. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, yeah. When I see you again, 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 when I see you again.
Bye. 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 Bye.